May is Melanoma and Skin Cancer Awareness Month. It's a good time to remember the importance of protecting your skin from the sun's damaging rays. Melanoma is the most deadly form of skin cancer. With 187,000 Americans expected to be diagnosed this year, but there is a promising new vaccine that may offer hope. It uses mRNA technology, similar to the COVID-19 vaccine and immunotherapy to fight the cancer. Joining me now is Dr. Andrew Pacora, a hematologist oncologist from the John Thurer Cancer Center in New Jersey, and Angela Evett, a patient who took part in the melanoma vaccine trial. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Now, doctor, you collaborated on the study that could change how melanoma is treated. Can you explain how it works and how effective it is? Yes. Uh, very briefly, there's two ways that cancer overcomes our immune system. One is uh, we have T cells in our bloodstream that are able to recognize and kill our cancer cells. However, cancer cells are able to turn them off. And that's what the checkpoint inhibitors, the first part of the treatment is, is to prevent the T cells from being turned off. But about half the time, the cancer is able to hide from the immune system, from the T cells. And that's where the mRNA vaccine comes in. We are able to identify the proteins that are abnormal being made by the melanoma, encapsulate them via mRNA into a lipid particle and inject it in your arm like a vaccine. And it allows your immune system to now see the abnormal proteins so the cancer can't hide. So it's a one-two punch to get rid of the melanoma. And doctor, how difficult is melanoma to treat? Well, prior to immunotherapy, it was almost impossible to treat. If you weren't able to cure it surgically, unfortunately, most patients died of it. Now it's a very different story. Many patients, even with the most advanced forms of melanoma, are having their melanoma going to remissions, and many of those patients are being cured. Wow. Angela, you were diagnosed with melanoma back in 2020. What did the vaccine do for you and, and what is your prognosis? So the vaccine gave me an opportunity um, to, uh, it actually reduced my risk of reoccurrence, which is helpful, especially when you're, you're thinking about uh, a reoccurrence. Um, so it reduces that stress a little bit, um, but there's still that chance. Um, it's not 100%, um, but every little bit helps for sure. And how has it changed your life? And what would you like others to know about melanoma and this treatment? So I think first and foremost, um, it's um, made me not stay in the sun. So that's for, for sure. I don't go out in the sun much. Um, and, you know, it was, it was a tough journey, um, even with the, the cancer vaccine. Um, it was it was very scary. And I think what I want other people to know is, you know, this disease is uh, is preventable with uh, proactive measures. Um, and this is going to be talked a lot about this month uh, for melanoma awareness. But staying out of the sun, wearing sunscreen, getting regular checks, doing self exams, are, I think are important to reduce that risk. Uh, and everybody should be thinking about that. Doctor, while research continues on the vaccine, what's the most important piece of advice for people to avoid getting skin cancer? Well, I think you just heard it. Uh, respect, don't be afraid of the sun, but respect it. Uh, wear sunscreen and uh, take good care of yourself. All right, thank you so much for being here. Dr. Andrew Pacor from the John Thurer Cancer Center in New Jersey and Angela Evett, thank you for being here this morning. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. For more information on the new melanoma vaccine trial, go to our website, cbsnewyork.com.